Hello, this is Vesso from Chaos. In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at how we can create an isometric looking scene. First, we'll start by creating some of the basic geometry of the scene. That will be the walls, the floor of the room, as well as some of the bigger furniture pieces, such as the kitchen counter and the table. Next, we'll set up the camera and frame it in a way that gives that isometric look. After that, we can set up and apply some materials for the scene. And finally, we'll do some set dressing in the room. We can take advantage of the Chaos Cosmos Asset Library to help us fill the room with objects. With all that being said, let's get started. The idea of this project is to create an isometric type of image of a room. I have a very nice sketch of what the room should look like when completed. If we analyze the sketch, we can notice the floor is of square shape and so are the two walls. We can start by creating those using simple geometry primitives such as boxes. Once we have the floor and walls all blocked out, we can cut out a hole for where the window frame would be. In our sketch, the window has an arch, which we need to model as well into the wall. After that, we can model a very basic window frame that fits the window opening in the wall. So far, so good. For the floor tiles, we can make a copy of the existing floor box, add some segments for the length and width. This way, we can end up with a nice grid. Next, we can add a little bit of inset between the squares. And lastly, we can extrude them a little in the Z direction. We can then get rid of the excessive geometry and use what's left for our floor tiles. Great! Using the same approach, we can model the kitchen counter and cabinets, as well as the shelves on the walls and the kitchen table. All very simple models using only boxes. At this point, I've added a chamfer modifier to all the modeled objects to make their edges nice and round. I've even exaggerated the roundness amount a little to make the objects look softer and more stylized. For the kitchen appliances, such as the refrigerator and stove, I have used the exact same approach, starting as a box and chamfering the edges to achieve that certain style. Overall, I've kept the process very simple to lay down the main objects in the scene. At this point, we can frame the camera and be ready to apply some materials to those objects. We can use the perspective viewport to choose an appropriate render view and then use the V-Ray physical camera icon from the V-Ray toolbar to create a camera. We'll need to adjust a few settings in order to make it look more isometric. An isometric view can be defined to be a two-dimensional illustration of a three-dimensional object. As such, all of the horizontal and vertical lines are perfectly parallel to each other. We can use the camera grid as a guide to help us align the wall's edges and make them appear parallel. In order to achieve an isometric look, we'll need to adjust the focal length of the camera lens. Camera focal length is the distance between the camera sensor and the optical center of the lens. It's measured in millimeters. The focal length determines the angle of view of the camera. A longer focal length will give a narrower angle of view, while shorter focal length will give a wide angle of view. The focal length is used to create a sense of depth and perspective. So, to get more parallel perspective lines, we can crank up the focal length to something like 600 mm. Of course, this will result in a very narrow field of view. So, let's move the camera backwards until we see the whole room again. We can move the camera around until we align the wall edges with the blue camera guidelines. Great! Let me open the V-Ray frame buffer and start the interactive rendering so we can adjust the camera exposure. The scene is lit by a single dome light with an HDR image. I'll switch the exposure to the exposure value option and lower the value to something like 8. Alright, at this point we can establish the color scheme for the image. I'd like to go for a yellow and green combination, where the walls could be yellow and the kitchen cabinets green. Let's start with the background material. I'll create a standard V-Ray material and set the diffuse to a nice shade of green. This would contrast very well with the yellow walls of the room. We can take advantage of the Chaos Cosmos material library. Let's open the Cosmos browser and filter by materials. And further filter by walls to get a nice selection of wall materials that we can use. I'll go ahead and use one of the yellow wall materials available. 
Again, we can adjust the color if we want to. I'll go for a little darker shade of yellow. Following the exact same process, I've picked materials for the rest of the objects in the room, the floor, the kitchen countertop, the cabinets, and so on. As a final step, we can fill the room with all kinds of assets, which would make it look more lively and more interesting. Right now it's a bit boring and looks like nobody ever lived in this room. Again, we can take advantage of the Chaos Cosmos, which can provide us with hundreds of assets to stress our scene here. I have browsed through the different categories and downloaded all of the assets that I thought might look good in this scene. I've put them all together in one place and then started to decorate the room until I was happy with what I've got. I wanted to make the models appear chunkier and overall make the scene look like a miniature. To accomplish this, for some of the assets I've applied a push modifier and pushed all of the polygons out a little bit. That certainly made the assets look like a miniature version with exaggerated shape. When you use the push modifier, the smoothness of the object breaks. So in order to make them smooth again, we can add a smooth modifier on top of the stack and enable auto smooth. Using those simple steps, we can create all kinds of isometric scenes. Once we have the scene all set up, it's very easy to use Chaos Cosmos to swap some of the assets with others if we want to create a different version of the same scene. We can also swap the materials as well and get a totally different version of the same room in minutes. In this video, we went over the process of creating an isometric looking scene. I started with modeling some of the basic shapes such as the walls, the floor, kitchen cabinets, appliances, and so on. After that, we've proceeded to setting up the camera and adjusting its settings to make the render look isometric. Finally, we finished by using Chaos Cosmos library to populate our scene with assets and apply materials to all of the objects we've modeled. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful and helpful. Thank you for watching.